Hello, everyone, and welcome to the New York Empoleons Week 5 Battle of the GBA Season 9. We are currently 1 and 3, um, and taking on possibly the person I was most excited and also most worried about taking on this entire season, which is MV himself and the San Diego Chim Chargers. If you don't know MV, and honestly, how could you possibly not know MV if you know me? Uh, then go check him out. Link is in the description below. Um, he is an amazing content creator and absolutely fantastic guy to battle. So I am super excited for this. Um, if you... <laughs> the team builder this week, I know it's kind of long. Um, it might be daunting for some people. Uh, you might have stopped halfway through. I'm not going to re-explain my sets. Uh, there's a reason I talked for so long. I'm very nervous about this matchup and my team doesn't actually match up all that well against his. So I am, uh, I would in encourage you guys to check that out if you are curious about how I came up with a, a plan to at least try to break down what is an almost impossible core for me to handle. Um, as it stands, um, I brought the answers I hope will be most successful when it comes to uh, his his team and we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, I encourage you guys to check that out. But without further ado, I will not hold you guys here any longer. I will come back with that battle and you guys should enjoy what is bound to be an entertaining and thought-provoking experience for everybody. RN Jesus, hear my prayer. Please, Hacks. Randy. Anyway, I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, everyone, welcome back. Here we go. We are going to see what six he's going to bring. I am so excited for this battle, guys. You don't even know. Uh, it is the Deancey, Keldeo, Lugia, Giratina, O, Dugtrio, and Muck. So no Raikou, uh, which tells me he's pr uh, probably... Um, He's probably Z Keldeo. Um, now, Don Fan is a pretty good lead here. Um, I do want to try to bluff Scarf on Lele or Victini. Uh, neither of them are Scarfed. Um, but I kind of want to bluff the Scarf there if possible later in the game. Um, Crobat is incredibly valuable for me to have healthy. Um, and Muck being his only thing that's immune to Toxic is really, really nice. Getting my Stealth Rocks up early would be super useful. I can take any one hit from the uh, Deancey if he does lead with that, uh, with my Dawn Fan. Um, if he leads Keldeo, then we get into this super frustrating and terrifying situation where I have to either just Earthquake, uh, take the Scald, Earthquake, go into my Vaporeon, predicting a Scald, or predict him to predict me to go into my Vaporeon, predicting a Scald, and go into my Crobat or my Lele. Um, as he goes for what's probably a secret sword or a calm mind. Um, so there's a lot of interaction there if he does lead with Keldeo. I do think Donphan is going to be my best lead here, though. Um, so we're going to lock that in. Um, if he leads Dugtrio, then Donphan's fine against that as well. Uh, it handles itself just fine there. Um, and I have a pretty free knockoff if that's the case, or an Earthquake, either one. Um, if he leads with the... Mega Deancey, then I have to make a play, and that's where... Mega Deancey's a, pr a pretty likely lead. Um, Earthquake's pretty free, though, uh, or knockoff, either one. So, uh, and Speed Demon is the Dugtrio. Okay, so he's going to try to lock in my Dawn fan here. Um, he... I mean, he dies to an Earthquake, plus an Ice Shard. I don't have Ice Shard but he dies to it. Um, I don't think he stays in. I could set up my rocks here. He does have Giratina, which makes me think he does have Defog on that um, to try to get rid of the rocks for the Lugia, basically, is what that's for. Um, and I can just click Knockoff. If he goes hard Keldeo, um, I'm not too. I'm really not too worried about him being physical Keldeo, um, and I'll still have my Sturdy and everything. So Knockoff seems incredibly free. Um, still does 60% to this Doug Trio, and if he's Focus Sash, it's not going to matter. Um, and he could go Lugia here, and he could go Giratina here, um, and he could go Keldeo. I think Earthquake is my safest play, because if he does go Lugia or Giratina, um, they don't really threaten me too much, um, and I can just switch out. Giratina would threaten me with, like, a, a whatchamacallit, Will-O-Wisp. Um, Lugia, I can just go into my, one of my Lugia, one of my many Lugia checks. 
Um, so EQ is going to be safer because if he does decide to go Keldeo here, um, then that's fine. If he does have the Sash and goes Rocks, I can just Rapid Spin the following turn and actually take out the Doug Trio, uh, which would be amazing. So he's going to hard switch this out. Keldeo is what I'm hoping he brings in. Um, and he actually does go straight into that Keldeo, uh, which is why I'm just, just going to click Earthquake here. There's no reason for me to do anything else. Um, and that does a clean 60%. Um, I can stay in at this point and kill the Keldeo with an Earthquake. Uh, since it is now, I'm confirmed a very offensive Keldeo. Um, I can do that since I have Sturdy. Um, and then I have the Custat Berry for later in the game uh, against whatever, as long as rocks don't come up. Um, I could also switch out, but I do actually think that letting my Dawn fan take that hit right now is going to be better for me in the long run, because he may just double out again, um, but Earthquake is still my safest play. Um, I could also go Vape here to preserve Donphan at full health. Um, I'm just going to Earthquake again, honestly. If he just doubles out, that's fine. I just did 60% to Keldeo, which is a huge threat to my team. Um, and if he does stay in I, and go for like a Z move, um, then he can't burn me and I do have Sturdy, so. Um, and then otherwise I, uh, if he goes, if he tries to predict my Vaporeon coming in and goes for like Sacred Sword or Secret Sword, then he only does, um, you know, doesn't, doesn't even bring me down to Sturdy. Um, he actually just doubles out as I was sort of expecting um, and goes down to Giratina, um, which, yeah, that's something that I'm gonna switch out on, obviously the Levitate. Um, so I'm going to mark down, I don't know Doug Trio's item, I don't know Keldeo's item. Giratina O is going to have the Grissius Orb. Um, and I don't know if he's physical or special. That's something I definitely need to know. Um, I could go Crobat here. Um, I could also go Vaporeon here. I'm sort of expecting a Will-O-Wisp, which doesn't super threaten me because I do have a Heal Bell on Vaporeon. Um, but if he is physical, then he threatens my Vaporeon a lot more since it is a specially defensive Vaporeon. Um, um, and Vaporeon doesn't really touch this thing. So I'm going to go into my Crobat. Um, I do take a Shadow Force from full, um, so that's good even if he's max attack adamant. Just goes Shadow Ball, um, and I am more specially defensive anyway, so that's good to know. Um, oh, he gets the Spadef drop. Oh, he gets the Spadef drop. Oh, do I let this thing die or not? That's, of course he does, of course he does. Um, so that is... How did he do that much damage? Was it a crit too? Oh, that's what I didn't say Porygon. I was like, wait a minute. How do you do that much damage to Crobat? Um, okay, so he's probably max special attack, but not modest. He can't be scarfed or anything, so I'm just going to click U-turn here. That, that special defense drop sucks. I wanted to toxic this thing so bad. Um, but instead, I'm just going to click U-turn. I'm going to go into my Vaporeon, knowing that he's special now. Um, will allow my Crobat to come in later. God, that's annoying. Um, goes for the Shadow Ball here. Um, okay, we just we just eat that. That's fine. There's a lot of damage, though, from Giratina, so I, he, is pretty, he is pretty specially offensive. Um, I'm going to click Wish here. I really lose nothing by doing it. Um, nothing can come in and Oko me right now, which is amazing. Um, if he goes Lugia, um, then I can just go back into my Crobat, which can take any non-psychic hit from it. Um, goes for the Toxic, that's fine, I have Heal Bell. Um, but now that I know he's staying in, I can go back into my Crobat at this point um, and try to Toxic the Giratina, which is something I think I want to do. I have Heal Bell for later with my Vaporeon. Um, or I can just stay in... Yeah, I'd rather Toxic this thing than burn it, honestly, with the Scald. Um, having clicked Wish, my Crobat comes back in here. It doesn't die to a Shadow Ball. 
Um, and I think that is the play. Uh, and I will, I can heal bell later on this or the Lugia. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back into Crobat here. Well, I get the wish into it. If he shadow balls again, um, then I survive. I get the wish back, which heals me a lot. Um, and there's the shadow ball. So as long as he doesn't crit me, which, you know, speaking into existence and all that, um, but we survive. There's the Wish, uh, which puts me way healthy enough to click Toxic right here, um, which is exactly what I'm going to do uh, on this thing, because God knows I need it. Um, if he goes out into... Mega Dancy has a Mega Evolve, so Toxic's free. If he goes out into Muck, that's fine. Um, and I just, you know, I'll just U-turn off the Muck and come in later. Um, but I need to be healthy enough, obviously, to... 1v1 the Giratina. And if he didn't get the special defense drop, I wouldn't have had to take the damage or get Toxic on my Vaporeon, but it is what it is. So he's gonna switch out, um, and he's gonna go out into Mirror Mirror that is Deancey. Toxing this thing is perfectly fine by me, in all honesty. Um, I am perfectly content with that. Uh, now, I have to make a, a call here, what he's gonna do. Um, if I Roost, then he doesn't kill me with anything, and I can kind of scout out what he wants to do. Um, like, he might Diamond Storm. He might Moon Blast, predicting a switch. Um, since nothing really wants to come in on this right now, Crobat is pretty much my safest thing against Deancey. Um... Yeah, so Diamond Storm doesn't kill me after a Roost, even if he's max attack adamant. Um, so I think Roost is my safest play. Uh, he could get the defense boost, but that is fine. Um, if he's clicking Diamond Storm, he'll click it again, and that allows me to go into my Donphan, um, which can take a Diamond Storm plus a Moon Blast, but can't take two Moon Blasts. So I'm going to click Roost here. I'm basically at full health anyway. Um, and I am allowing him to Mega Evolve for free, um, which is sort of annoying because I don't have my rocks up yet, but that's fine. Um, Crobat is still incredibly useful for toxing things later, as well as Brave Birding the Keldeo. Um, but I am going to click Roost here. I will survive whatever he goes for. Um, if he Calm Mines, that's annoying, but again, uh, doable. Goes for the Heal Bell. Um, Heal Bell, Mega Deancey. Okay, so we are going to be in this for the long haul. Um, as we, as he is no longer toxic and cannot be toxic again, because <sighs> he is now mega evolved. Do I think he's gonna moon blast here, or do I think he's gonna just power? Uh... Do I think he's just gonna go for a diamond storm, or is he gonna switch out? I'm gonna U-turn. I mean, I can't go for another, uh, I can't go for another Roost here. <sighs> Donphan still is sturdy, so I obviously don't want to go into that. I could go into Dialga, but I really want that thing to be able to take a hit from the Doug Trio later. So I am going to go into the Donphan here. If he goes Moonblast, that's a good play. Um... If he goes for the... Yeah, there's the Moon Blast. That's really frustrating. Gets the special attack drop on my Dawn Fan. Um, so the magic number we're waiting for to pop our Custap Berry is 42, and we're at 59. Um, which isn't great. Um, so I'm going to go back into my Crobat here. This may seem ridiculous to you guys, but I swear there's a point to it. Um, <laughs> arguably, I should have just Brave Bird it with Crobat and just let it eventually die. Um, and kept my Dawn Fan at sturdy. I do have Wish on the on the Vaporeon, so I can pass that into the Dawn Fan if I need to. Um, or if I get the opportunity to. Uh, but we're going to go back into Crobat here. 
I don't see a Diamond Storm coming. I really don't. Um, there's just another Moonblast. Um, so we've seen Heal Bell, we've seen Moonblast. So at this point, I'm going to click Roost. And I want him to show me a move. Like, show me your moveset. Because once I know the moveset, I can react to this Diancie much better. But up until that point, uh, I have a lot of trouble with it. So, if he goes for the Earth Power here, then that's that's okay. I can take that. Um, but if he's just going for Moonblast, that tells me he may or may not even have... Um, may or may not even have Diamond Storm. Um... And so I'm happy to I'm happy to roost. Um, and if he goes for an Earth Power here, then I know. Um, then I know you have it. There's the Diamond Storm. Okay. So now I really, really want him to click Diamond Storm again. This may seem ridiculous. This play is bold as hell, but I really want you to click Diamond Storm again. <sighs> Substitute. That's not ideal. Okay. It's not ideal. It's not impossible to deal with. But it's obviously not ideal. Um, this means I just have to pick a sack. Don fans, at this point, pretty much a sack. Um, so that's probably my best bet. Uh, he may predict and go for a diamond storm as I try to go into my crowbat here, um, which could theoretically PP stall diamond storms. He's only got eight of them, so he's used one. Um, If he goes for a Diamond Storm right here, then I'm in good shape. If he goes for Moonblast, then... Yeah, there's the Moonblast. So I'm just going to let this thing go down. Um, so Mega Deancey kills Don Fan with Moonblast. Um, now at this point, um, I kind of have to go Vaporeon and click Scald. I can take any hit. Um, or I can go into my Lele. No, it doesn't. I can take a Diamond Storm, but I don't like taking a Diamond Storm. Vaporeon getting weakened is bad. Um, I could go Dialga and just click Earth Power. Then I can't take an Earthquake from the Dug Trio later, though. So I have to I have to go vape here. Um, and I have to click scald. I have no choice. Um, the substitute's really, really scary. Um, when vape goes down, as long as he doesn't have a sub up, then um, then I'm okay. I think what I do is I click sub. There's the dinosaur. He could miss. He doesn't miss. Um, we'll take it. Not well. And I just, I have to, I think Vaporeon has to die here. Uh, maybe it doesn't. Well, it can't come in on anything else, except for the Keldeo. <laughs> it can come in on the Keldeo. So he's gonna click Diamond Storm again. I could go Dialga. He could click Sub, though, which would be a problem. But that would stall out two Diamond Storms. Then you only have technically two left against the Dialga. It is a bulky Dialga. Uh, how much did that do? It didn't do like max attack adamant damage. But it did a lot. Okay, so Dialga... Uh, Diamond Storm is doing... A decent chunk. 
Moonblast is doing Moonblast plus Diamond Sword doesn't kill, but two Moonblasts does. So I have to let Vaporeon go down, which is super bad. That's super bad. Yeah, he does go for the Moonblast. It's the safer play here. Um, and I think what I do is I go Dialga here. So Mega Deancey kills Vaporeon with Moonblast. Um, so I go Dialga here. Um, and I think I click Trick Room. He's going to switch out. I could just Earth Power um, so that I catch the Doug Trio. And, but then I'm just, I mean, I still don't take a Doug Trio hit well. He, he has no reason to stay in right here. Trick Room makes me slower than everything but the Muck, and I can switch out on the Muck, that's fine. And maybe the Giratina. But I don't worry about that too much either. I'm gonna play Trick Room. I think he's gonna go Doug Trio. Um, that doesn't change my play at all. Uh, pretty much everything but Muck is in range, and, and if he's Focus Ash. Uh, on his Doug Trio. He's in range to die to this, uh, this Dialga. I don't see, I don't see him staying in. He doesn't kill me with anything. Um, he doesn't have the Earth Power for super effective, so he's gonna go Doug Trio. Um, but I can't really make that read right now, but I can definitely go for the Trick Room, uh, so that I end up winning. Oh, he does stay in. Okay. Um, so Moonblast's gonna do a little chunk. Um, and we're going to set up the Trick Room here. So at this point, uh, Earth Power is free. Uh, if he does go Giratina or Lugia, that's fine. Um, XD001, that's Lugia. Okay. It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to try to predict that right now. I need to. I need to try to kill the Deancey. Um, plus, I still have switches into the Lugia, um, like my Lele. Um, which can potentially just 1v1 a Lugia. Um, that's sort of the point of it. Um, now he does have the Muck, which is a problem for my Lele, uh, and his Doug Trio still hasn't taken damage, which is really unfortunate. Um, but I do think that we have, uh, like Lele is fine against the Lugia, um, I don't know what he's going to go for. He could sub here. Goes for the Roost. Okay. So he's going to stall out my Trick Room. Um, I'm actually just going to straight taunt this thing. Um, and then I'm going to call Mind. I don't know what I'm taunting now. Muck? Yeah, Muck's coming in. Taunting the Muck. Uh, which means a knockoff is 100% coming my way. Um, I need something on the Dugtrio. Okay, so here's the play. Um... Lugia is a huge issue, because there's no rocks right now. So I need my Lele for that. I need my Crobat to chip out the Dugtrio when it survives a hit um, from something. I definitely need that. Um, Victini has the Flame Charge and can take a knockoff from this from full. I can't switch it in right now. Um, but I'm going to... I'm going to click Moonblast here with my Lele, which can take a knockoff. Um, it can't take a Poison Jab. But I don't see him going for it because my Dialga is the switch in here. Um, he actually outspeeds me. That's really unfortunate too. Um, or he underspeeds me, I guess, in Trick Room. Um, which this is the last turn of Trick Room. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Moonblast here. Um, he goes for the Pursuit. I actually stayed in, so... Joke's on you! 
That does nothing. Um, and he shows that's super assault vested. Okay. Um, but now I outspeed you again. Um, he showed pursuit, not knockoff. You could do it again. I could call mind here. He could also go for a poison jab here, now that I've proven I'm staying in. I'm gonna go into my Dialga. Um, because I think Lele is more important in the long run. Um, this time he just goes straight for the knockoff. Um, that's fine. Um, so I can Earth Power. I do think the Dialga or the, the Lugia is a pretty predictable switch here, um, since I showed Earth Power last time. Um, so Ice Beam is probably a better play. Basically, the end goal here is get my Victini in. So I'm just going to sack off Dialga at this point. Um, but I'm going to click Ice Beam in case he does go into his Lugia, um, just to get some damage on that. Um, as he does go straight into the Lugia here. So Ice Beam is going to hit that at least, you know, at all. Um, break multi-scale. Um, no sense in trick rooming at this moment in time. Um, ooh! We saw leftovers. I don't think this is going to work. Um, I'll be honest. I don't think it's going to work. Long term. Uh, I'm going to click Ice Beam here. I'm going to Trick Room, which is a risk because it gives him an extra turn to Thaw um, and to go into Muck here. But if he goes into Keldeo, then Trick Room allows me to kill this thing um, with an Earth Power, which is 100% the play. Because if he does go into Giratina, I Draco, and if he goes into the Lugia, then I Ice Beam later. Um, so there's Lugia again, that's fine. I'm just going to Ice Beam now. Um, he's just letting me kill it now. That's very unexpected. Um, that freeze is crazy. Freezes are, should be banned from this game, honestly. I, I got frozen last week and it sucked, and freezing him this week is... He's just stalling out the trick room. Interesting, okay. Um, how much does Ice Beam do? I, th I think I have one more turn, though. Does over twenty percent? Does over half of what you had left? Um, no, exactly half of what you had left. That's bad. Um, there's two turns of trick room left. Shipping the Lugia down. It's really just the Giratina now that needs to be whittled down by the by anything in order for Victini to sweep, uh, get to plus one, and then I need any damn. well, no, I just need my Crobat alive. Um, and Crobat can 1v1 Giratina and, um, whatchamacallit, Dugtrio, if it needs to, uh, as long as Victini does any damage to them, um, or vice versa. So I could Ice Beam again, it may not kill, I don't think that's a safe play. I could just Draco, um, and just kill something. If he... So I still have a turn of Trick Room left. So if he does go into Lugia, I just Draco the following turn and kill whatever he wants me to kill. Because I haven't revealed it yet. So yeah, I Earth Power here. Um, and he's going to switch out. And he's going to go into Lugia. So I could have Ice Beam there. Um, so I just Draco at this point, I think is the play. Um, on the last turn of the Trick Room. 
Um, or I just or I just ice beam again, put the Caldeo in range of where it's gonna die. Um, because it could die to the ice beam anyway, and it does more to the Lugia. Yeah, I'm gonna ice beam. Um, because I don't kill the Lugia from here, which means I actually can set up another trick room. Um, so he's gonna switch out. Okay, I wasn't trying to make any real reads here. There was no real super reason to do that since this Ice Beam can kill this uh, Keldeo from here. It doesn't, so he gets the roll, and I will lose my Diaga right here, um, which is not ideal. Um, that's really, really bad, actually. I was hoping that Ice Beam would just kill. Now, he could Scald, predicting my Lele. But I don't think that's the play he's going to make. I think he just has to... All he has to do is go for a Fighting-type attack. Um, I have no... I, I can't switch anything into this and then take a Water-type attack the following turn. So I'm going to Trick Room here in case he tries to make some overprediction. He's just going to go for Phytanium. Waterium Z. Okay. Does this kill? Probably. From this range. Um, maybe. Depends on his investment, actually. Yeah, it does kill. Okay. That's okay, because Crobat comes in and just clicks U-turn. Um, and then the Keldeo goes down. Um, since I know he's not Scarfed. So Keldeo is Waterium Z. And has Water Attack. Um, and Keldeo kills Dialga with Waterium Z. Um, so at this point, uh, I think U-turn is the best play here. So that's what I'm going to go for. Um, no sense in letting this thing survive and roosting or anything like that. Um, I could Brave Bird, but then I take some recoil. So U-turn is safe, it's free, um, and if he goes into the Deancey, which is his biggest threat left, I have to go into my Lele. Um, if he goes into his Dialga, not Dialga, um, Giratina, then I can go into Lele as well. Um, and I can taunt this thing. Although he might just Shadow Ball. Or I can Moonblast. How much does Moonblast do? Because again, this is the one thing I like really need Chip on, you know? 70%? Min? Or well, depends on his investment. I could just call Mind. Since I know he's special. Um, yeah, I can I can call mind here. But then he goes into t well, okay. How do I kill Deancey? I guess Crobat has to stall out all of its power, uh, all of its everything. <laughs> That's not great. That's not a good solution. Um, because Deancey can kill me after a Shadow Ball with a Diamond Storm, I assume. Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't matter then, right? So I should just call Mind. Uh, he's going to switch out. He goes out into the Muck. Okay. We saw the first one did 24%. So at plus one, uh, to his assault vest muck, we're doing like 40%. Knockoff's doing a lot. Poison jab is killing. And I have no real switch into either of those things right now. But that doesn't change my play. It is to click Moonblast. I have no choice. Um, That does actually less than I was expecting it to do, honestly. Um, we do live the poison jab, though, which is pretty surprising, all things considered. Um, but we're going to Moonblast again. Again, not a ton of choice here. Um, he probably just pursued it to, to make sure that my Lele died. Um, and at this point, 
goes for the knockoff. That's fine. Um, so, uh, Muck, Alola, kills Tapu Lele with knockoff. Um, I have to go Victini. I have to click Flame Charge. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do against Giratina. Uh, well, Crobat has to kill Giratina. So I need him to let, like, a bunch of things die before Giratina, basically. Um, if he goes Lugia right now, that's actually, like, crazy. But I'm just going to click Flame Charge here. Um, yeah, there's the Giratina. So I basically had... Yeah, I should have probably predicted that, but that's okay. Um, I should have just clicked U-turn there. Uh... He's not going to give me another chance to set that up, I don't think. Probably. Bolt Strike does nothing. But there's a chance that I get a para. No. No, my only play is to go out into Crobat here. Um. My only play is to go into Crobat here. I mean, I was just outplayed this game. Maybe I should have made some reads, but honestly, I don't necessarily think that there's anything I did super wrong. That kills? Since when? Since when does that kill? No. Shenanigans. Um, I legitimately thought that would I would live that because it did less than 50% before. Okay. Um, so I got 6 owed by MV, which which happens. I'm gonna fl click flame charge. I have no. I need it. I need the boost. Um, and then I have to click, I honestly have to click Bolt Strike and hope I para. Um, since I will survive one Shadow Ball here. So my only chance is a Bolt Strike para, full para. I won't survive that. Ooh, I live on one. It's like I have a Focus Sash. Um, if he create, he's very offensive. It's not killing from there though. So I have to Bolt Strike para, I have to. I have to Bolt Strike into full pair. I mean, I play out every game till the end. Um, full para. Come on. Come on. Para? Para? No para. Shadow Ball? Miss? No. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Giratina. Oh, kills everything with Shadow Ball. And I knew going into this that I had a rough matchup. I do think that I... Definitely could have played better in that one. Um, but in all honesty, like... Like, even getting into the situation I was in was because of a freeze on the Lugia. Um, that I, I'm honestly happy didn't end up coming into a play. Um, do I... What could I have done? What could I have done differently? Again, a couple of reads that I made. Going to the Dawn Fan on the Moonblast wasn't... Uh, wasn't good. Um, I should have just gone into my Vaporeon on that Moonblast, uh, potentially, although it was already a little bit injured, um, or just stayed in and kept, you know, just click Brave Bird, just seeing what he did. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, <laughs> that's an unfortunate loss for the New York Empoleon. We are going to be able to come back next week, though, and take on week six, um, you know, first loss that didn't involve a lot of hacks, in all honesty, I'm perfectly comfortable saying that MV outplayed me and outprepped me. But honestly, even before prep, if you ask my front office, this matchup was lost. Not lost, but pretty much lost in uh, in team comp. Um, I just did not have responses to a lot of his mods. Um, and I tried really hard. Uh, you can check out my team builder to see what I was trying to do. Um, and it worked in my mocks, but um, unfortunately, I couldn't make it work here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys back here next week as we take on the Tennessee Trubbish and Deathly I Am. I hope you guys are enjoying this season. I know a 6-0 loss hurts and it sucks, but I do firmly believe that we are still in a position where, with a couple of big wins, we can go on a run and make a playoff, uh, a playoff appearance a reality. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everybody.